Hello guys and welcome. This is uh, Bart 13T casting today. Uh, this is a scrim of MSI versus uh, QS, and this was a scrim given to me from a friend of mine. Now apparently this is an interesting game. Uh, I'm gonna run through the lineups. We got MSI on Legion. Uh, so we got Trixie on Moon Queen, Rexy on Engineer, Doctor on Behemoth, uh, Jerax on Blacksmith, and Nizma on Plaguerider. Now we go over to QS. We got Dement on Tempest. EMPS on Desham, Schweeps, Defiler, Sharu, Wretched Hag, and Orbwalk on Swiftblade. I really like both of these lineups, um, and it looks like we might see a first blood here from QS getting very aggressive. They got three people in this bottom jungle. Uh, Tempest has got the ward, so it looks like he's going to be looking to farm that bottom Legion jungle. And I just want to let you know this is a, um, well, it should be a very good game. And like I said, why went through T-casting and recording. Now hopefully this is a test. I'm testing something out here to make sure that my new that there's no more delay like I had in my invitational casts. So I guess wish me the best of luck on that. Now, in the mid, we have Defiler as versus Moon Queen, which is gonna be a nice uh nice lineup. Both of them are really strong heroes, and I think if Moon Queen does go for that multi-strike, it'll definitely help push that lane up. But Defiler's range on that nuke. And I think her auto attack as well is just going to overpower this Moon Queen. And it looks like Moon Queen's just going to go for that extra damage to get that last hitting ability. Which is always a smart move because last hits is really what the mid lane hero needs. And Tempest is in this Legion jungle. So we got Wretched Act solo top against Plague and Behemoth. Uh, which is definitely a smart choice there by QS because Wretched Hag is definitely a, a very strong solo hero and especially against these two, she she will be able to blink out a lot if Plague Rider looks to initiate with that stun. The only thing I do think she's going to have trouble with is last hitting up here um, because it's 2v1 when it comes to that, but a fine job nonetheless, more of a ganking hero than anything, so... And we have Swiftblade Demsham bottom, so a great lane. They got the stun slow from Demsham, and then the Swiftblade spin, which will be really nice. And Tempest is just going to be ready to really just strike whenever he's needed. Uh, he's, he's also put up the wards. We got Chicken from Desham, Demsham, um, for the Hellborn. And Yellow bought the Chicken. I'm really sorry about the chat. I, I still haven't learned how to log out yet, and uh, I'm working on it, but... Anyways, I think this game's really going to be defined by Swiftblade, uh, because he's the strongest carry in this game, although Engineer is a very strong uh, carry if he, if he really wants to be, and Moon Queen as well can kind of pick up some of that slack. Now, Tempest was looking to get a gank there, uh, came up the mid there, scared off Trixie a little bit, but then Trixie just comes right back into lane. And it looks like Tempest is making his way back to the mid, so maybe they're going to try yet for another gank, which would be very interesting, uh, especially against Moon Queen, who's going for a strong push, not really getting that Moon Beam necessarily. She's got level 1 Lunar Glow, level 1 Multi-Strike, uh, level 2 Lunar Glow, I'm sorry, she just upgraded that skill. Uh, the bottle goes to Sweeps, Defiler's got an Invis Rune, Tempest is making his way back in the jungle looking to get that farm going, and that leaves Blacksmith down bottom here with Engineer. See... I don't know, I don't really like this lane. I mean, the slow stun is really nice for, for Engineer to set up that bomb. And a lot of teams have used it, especially MSI. I've seen them use it a lot, especially in the Invitational. At least the whole Engineer in their combo. One thing I do like about this MSI team is the AoE output they have. Uh, Behemoth, I think, is a great counter to Tempest because if he gets the jump on Tempest, that ultimate will really do work. But it looks like Tempest might be floating down bottom for a gank here. Uh, never mind. Defiler's gonna get that bottle over Moon Queen. Uh oh, Tempest spotted in the side. Looks like they're going for a kill. Bomb on Swiftly. Swiftly's got the slow, so Blacksmith is looking to bring him down. Tempest now swapping over to Blacksmith. And fortunately, nobody dies. Demsham going after Engineer now on Rexy. And Rexy comes into lane. That's going to give sight. Desham goes for the slow, gets a hit off. Stop that mana pot. But Swiftblade and, and uh, Tempest are still over here in the jungle. And there's the TP. Engineer going back to base. And Blacksmith's going to scoot away safely there, which is pretty nice. 
And Moon Queen definitely getting out harassed here by Defiler. Although, Defiler versus Moon Queen, I think Defiler would always win just because of the, the range on their nuke. Especially with the way Trixie went for the build here. Uh, without getting that, Moonbeam won't be able to harass Defiler as much as he probably would like to. Uh, but nonetheless, it's definitely doing a great job on the harassment mid. And... DCM going really offensive here, allowing Swiftblade to get good farm, which is what they definitely need to do on QS's side. If Swiftblade doesn't get farmed, I mean, it's not going to really be a huge problem for them because Tempest will be there, Wretched Hag will be there. I mean, they just, they have the AoE to definitely bring down this uh, Legion team, but the Legion team has the same thing as well. Plague Rider's ultimate is really nice, like I was saying before, Behemoth's ultimate is self-explanatory, and then Engineer has a nice ultimate and Moon Queens as well. So it's all AoE, and... For both sides, nonetheless, Tempest, Swiftblade, kind of AoE, uh, the spin is AoE damage, uh, minimal AoE damage, but his ultimate is AoE damage, minimal as well, but nonetheless damage, so I think Wretched Hag kind of does make up for that, and the slow will allow uh, Swiftblade to really catch up to his enemies and get the, the more bounces on them rather than creeps. Uh-oh, Moon Queen goes down, there's the Bloodlust mid, Defiler is going to pick that up. And the Illusion Rune threw off, threw off Trixie's ultimate there pretty nicely. And that puts QS up 1-0. So well done there by Sweeps on Defiler. That, uh, popping that Illusion Rune as soon as he saw that ultimate go off. Granted him the kill, got the nuke off, and really just auto attacks finished the job. Looks like Behemoth and Plague are keeping up their harassment on Wretched, though, which is something we'll want to do. But I think Wretched's just up here to grab XP, and she's definitely doing just that. She's got the one level advantage. Uh, nothing too huge, but definitely definitely staying in this game. And it looks like she's getting the, a bit of farm. Not really the better of farm, but definitely a good good bit. And the fire picks up Boots, and just right back on that harassment. Moon Queen down half HP already, and now it looks like sh uh, Defiler could be in trouble. Behemoth with the haste rune. Looks like they're jumping on Defiler right here. Defiler's going to go ulti. And maybe look to do some damage or bring someone down. And how do you have pursued? Tempest might have been able to get in there and get that stun off. Defiler comes back mid, though. Maybe looking to do a little bit of a push with that ultimate. Slightly. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get some damage here. Maybe Tempest Elementals. And there's the damage. Doing doing half HP on that tower, which is always nice. And it looks like Wretched gets caught up a little bit up here. But she does pick up a bottle. She does have a health pot now. She's got a lot more survivability, and she will be able to spam her spells more, which is definitely a benefit in that top lane. Uh, to really counter the Plague Rider spam, and she'll definitely be looking to use that Courier to cycle that bottle in and out of that lane constantly. Uh oh. And uh, I thought we were going to jump there on Blacksmith, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I don't really think that uh, Swiftblade's going to get many kills. I think that's a great choice there by uh, MSI to put Blacksmith and NG down there because if and when he does go to jump, or if and when uh, DSHAM goes for the slow, they can just jump right on him with the, uh, the stuns and really just kind of maybe even get a counter gank off, which would be nice to see, but. I think they're just looking to survive and cut down his farm, which I believe Rexy's doing pretty nicely. They got the harassment on Swiftblade, which is always good. Uh, but it looks like we might try something here. I don't know. Just Swiftblade giving mana pots to, to Tempest. And it looks like Moon Queen's going hunting now. But she knows she can't leave Defiler in that solo lane. Because uh, she's already got Ghost Marchers. But it looks like Tempest is coming in for a jump. And there it is. There's the stun. Uh, but it looks like we're going for two targets here, which is always a mistake. But uh, Engineer's got that tree cut out, and now he's trapped. Engineer might be going down, but what a great tree chop there. And uh, Swiftblade is still slow, but Demsham's going for the kill. Blacksmith with a side stun there. So two attempted ganks here uh, by QS. None of them successful, but now it looks like Moon Queen might come in and clean up here. She has her ultimate. Uh, no lean... No, uh... No Moonbeam just yet, but it looks like she's going for Pursue to get them isolated from the creeps. And let's see if we can see the ultimate. There it is. She gets one. She gets two. Double kill for Trixie. Well done by Moon Queen. Uh, probably the best choice there to dive that. And that'll definitely put them up. There's 2-1 back in MSI's favor.